Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Envy Sam in the color Sparkling Champagne. I am so grateful to Name Brand Wigs once again for sending me a wig to show to all of you guys and a cute, cute style at that. If you've not checked them out, please do. Their website is namebrandwigs.com. They are a wonderful resource for us wig wearers, great retailer, wonderful customer service, lots of education. I highly recommend them. Please check them out. If you want to know more about this super cute style, stick around. I'll tell you all about her. You guys, Sam is absolutely adorable. I have been playing with her just in the bathroom, looking in the mirror, going like this. It's, she's so bouncy. She's just adorable. Let's look at her from all sides. What do you guys think? I mean, really. I, you guys, I'm such a fan of hair. I had horrible hair my whole entire life. And so now I just get so thrilled with wigs. And sure, not every wig is my perfect style and I can't possibly wear every wig, but I'm being really genuine when I say that if I think a style is super cute, I really do. It may not be my perfect style always, but I can still see the beauty in the hairstyle. And this one, you guys, is just giving me all the feels. It is adorable. So we have a full mono top lace front wig. So you can part this one anywhere you want. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I already talked about name brand wigs, right? I think I did in my intro. Oh my gosh, I got interrupted. Had to go do something, and now I'm back to film the review. So if I didn't talk about name brand wigs, I apologize. Please look in the description for a link to name brand wigs. I don't want to repeat it. I do think I did it in the intro. But anyway, I'm so grateful to name brand wigs for giving me an opportunity to try so many different styles. It's just something else to put on a head of hair that you never thought you'd wear and just feel transformed. So this one has a full mono top. You can part it anywhere you want which is awesome because not everybody likes to part their hair the same way. So you can part it on the left, on the right. I'll show you the cap in a minute. That gives the style a lot of flexibility. And then as you can see, we just have a ton of really cute layers. And as I just demonstrated, just without thinking about it, you can tuck. This one is absolutely tuckable. You can tuck it on both sides. You can do a full tuck depending on the coverage that you get in the hair you have to blend or just leave just a tiny, tiny bit out and just tuck and leave some down if you need to, to hide your bio hair. But this just so easy to get off the face, so comfortable. And then you've got these really cute little flippies on the bottom. Normally I don't like flippies on wigs, but these are really actually subtle and really cute. I'm not minding them at all on this piece. This is regular synthetic, so you wouldn't take heat to this one. But if you wanted to get rid of the flippies, you could take steam to it and a round brush and sort of round brush them down so that you, you could get rid of them if you liked everything else about the style. This one, let's, let's look at the cap. So I can show you what I meant by a full mono top. In case you're new and you're not familiar, full mono top just means this whole top mimics scalp and you can part it anywhere you want. I actually have a new wig wearer series on YouTube here and I walk you through every different kind of cap style in, I believe, episode one. So you might want to check that out. So we've got this lace front and it's it's fairly narrow. We'll, we'll take a look at that when I put it back on. But it's enough that you can definitely do some styling. Soft ear tabs with bendable stays, extended nape, and bra strap adjusters. Not my favorite. Of all the adjusters, these aren't my favorite. But if you struggle with these, you can always put a little stitch in right there once you get it adjusted where you want it because sometimes they can slip. Now, this piece, I would say, is moderate to heavy density. It's definitely got a good amount of hair. This is not 
a light density piece at all. In addition to that, there is some permatease. There's some, I can feel some poofy permatease right here behind the monofilament. That gives it just a little bit of a lift right here. And then there's permatease all back in here. When I put my hands into this, I can feel the permatease. It is not overdone. I have had wigs that had such poofy, pillowy permatease that it was almost ridiculous. This is not overdone, but you see this style, really you do need permatease to have this style be what it is, to give you this lift and volume. I mean, this is dress up hair. This is, you know, you took a round brush and you round brush some volume into the hair and then you put some flippies in your hair. This isn't wake up and run out the door hair. This is really, really pretty, you know, perfect for wearing to work. It could even be great like wedding hair or event hair if you're not someone who really likes a lot of curl, but you want something just a little bit more polished. That's what this reminds me of, and I think that's why I really like it, and I feel so pretty in this wig. Now, let's talk about that lace front that I mentioned. So you've got from here to here. Sometimes if you've got a really uh, generous lace front, you'd find that lace to go to about there. But I do think it's enough lace. If you're someone who likes to do like little updos or put little clips in, maybe get a little volume at the crown, you can totally do that. You've got plenty of lace to do that. Um, another thing I think this wig, oh bangs, that reminded me. You could cut bangs in this one really easily. It doesn't it's, they're too long to be full bangs, but the template's built for you. All you have to do is trim it up a little bit. So if you're a bang person, you can absolutely cut bangs in this one. One of the things I'm struggling with a little bit is this up here where, you know, it's hard to kind of figure out where it wants to comfortably part. And because this is a higher density piece, there is kind of a lot of hair sewn in at the or tied in at the top on the monofilament. So if you're someone that wants to show the monofilament, you want that realism, I think you're probably going to want to figure out where you want to part it and then pluck it a little bit. That will also help it to lay a little bit better and a little bit more kind of less like flopping all around. I do have a, a video where I show you how to do that. So if you want to know how to pluck a part line, put some makeup on a part line to make it look really realistic, you can go check that video out. I'll try to link it in the description for you guys. But the lace front is actually really good. It's really good. I think they did a great job. So definitely lots of flexibility with this style. Now styling, I think this one would look so cute in a low pony. Because of all these layers up here, when you pull it back into a ponytail, some of these layers fall forward and I just love that look. So you could stick it in a little pony and then pull some of these forward. You can tuck some of this so you can leave some forward and some tucked. So if you're looking at this one thinking it's a little bit, I don't do fancy things very often. I don't need fancy hair. You could easily turn this into casual hair by putting it in a ponytail or take a claw clip and clip up the back here and you've got yourself an updo. I think this one would be really darling like that. So I definitely think this has styling potential for sure. I think it's super cute, you guys. All right, I think I covered everything. I'm just going through my head, all the things I like to talk about. I think I got it all. Let's talk about color. Champagne, what did I say it was? Sparkling champagne. This is a beautiful golden blonde. I have never seen this color before. It is a very golden blonde with a incredibly subtle shadow root. Like super subtle. This is not a dark brown. I think you've got a light brown root next to golden blonde. That's what this looks like to me. It looks like you were naturally maybe a dishwater blonde and you got your color lightened. It's not like a brunette going to blonde. It's not regrowth looking. It is so good, you guys. If you like blondes and you really don't like rooting, I'd encourage you to check this color out. I don't think it's going to feel terribly rooted to you. And then you've got some dynamic, some really light blonde, golden blonde, some dark blonde. 
they did such a good job with this color. It's definitely warm, but I wouldn't call this a yellow blonde. This is a golden blonde. It's not yellowish. I've seen yellow blonde wigs before. I would say this is more just bright and golden. I will say though, I do think this one has a little bit of shine. That can be typical of a kind of the golden blonde type synthetics. I do think it has a little bit of a shine. Now, I don't think it would bother me. I don't think I would do anything about it if it were me. But I want to mention it because I know some people are really sensitive to wig shine. So what I encourage you to do, if you were to get this color and find it to be shiny, just pick up some dry shampoo and gently spray the dry shampoo, kind of work it around. I'd probably just hold it. I'd spray a little bit of dry shampoo, kind of fluff it around just so you don't get any of that kind of powdery cast. And that will help. Wear will help. Sometimes even just soaking in cold water will help. So there's definitely things you can do about synthetic shine if you find that to be a challenge for you. So don't be afraid, but just know that you might get this one and think, yeah, this one looks a little shiny. It definitely will look shiny in different lighting. Some lighting it will be fine and some it will look shiny. Look at how cute this is when you just tuck it. I can see myself in just a tiny little monitor next to my camera here. I just think this is such a cute piece. I really do. All right, you guys, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. And I have an out of the box, but this is out of the box. I will tack on my one minute out of the box from Instagram. I did nothing to this wig. I did nothing to this wig. I mean, okay, I ran my fingers through this wig because when I put, every time I put a wig on to review, I want to feel it. I want to look at it. I want to get to know it a little bit so I can tell you guys about it. But that is all I did. I did not spray water on this one. I didn't even hang this one upside down or put it on a wig head. After I filmed my out of the box, I stuck it back in the box. This looks fabulous out of the box. So if anything, I think this will be a great one to try. You'll know right away whether this is going to work for you. It isn't going to be one of those wigs that has box hair. I don't think. This one didn't. Um, where you're not sure, I really think you'll know right away. Let me know if you have any questions about the style. Again, thank you, Name Brand Wigs, for sending it to me. If you're looking for some polished hair that's just a little bit of a step up from your everyday casual, but not too fancy, you don't want curls, but maybe you have a wedding to go to, maybe you have a gala of some sort to go to, or some event where you just want, you're going to wear a dress or dress up, and you want some pretty hair, consider this one if it's a style that you like, because it definitely checks all those boxes. All right, guys, let's get outside. Hey, here we are with sparkling champagne outside. Get over here in the sun. Now, can you see what I mean? That root is not super obvious. It's so natural looking. over here again. Ooh, it got a lot warmer out here than I expected. Can you see some of the dynamic that I was talking with you guys about earlier? Such a cute style. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. All right, everyone, here is my out of the box. I love doing these out of the boxes now. It's so awesome to be able to see a wig for the first time with you guys. I also think it's so important. That's why I take the time to do this now with all brand new wigs. So obviously, you've seen all this. I'm just, I voice over this for Instagram, and then I voice over it for you guys again here, just so that you aren't watching in complete silence. Look at how great it looks out of the box. I mean, really, doesn't look very much different than what I showed you just now. And always, my reactions are completely genuine. It's so fun. I'm just showing that you can part it anywhere. 
was really enjoying how bouncy it is. Really pretty style. <laughs>